And thank you for joining us here at 5 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. It is the opening day of the Durango Casino, and we have team coverage. Las Vegas now anchor Rocky Theus, Ozzy Mora, Heather Mills, all continuing our coverage. The casino delayed its original opening just before Thanksgiving. It needed a little extra time to get it just right. Yeah, now the big day. It is finally here, and we're going to first start live with Ozzy Mora joining us with some reaction right there from Durango. Brian, Denise, I wish you were both out here celebrating with me. Families are walking around. Everyone is enjoying themselves, having a great time. And while our photographer kind of walks around and shows you what we're seeing tonight, I'm going to give you a quick breakdown of the hotel and a little more. There are 1,700 employees working tonight with thousands of people enjoying the more than 200 hotel rooms, 15 restaurants. Say hi! <laughs> what really caught my attention, the food. This is the food hall. Eat your heart out. And that's what many are doing right now. We have the electronic table games, slot machines, cha-ching, people winning tonight. And just an FYI, kids are not allowed in these designated gaming areas, but they are allowed in the food hall, what you're seeing right now. This is according to the resort. Now, this is the only resort in a five-mile radius this is a brief timeline real quick. So to think this all started in 2021 with Station Casinos announcing its intent to move forward with the casino property to the Clark County Commission approving plans for the resort's construction to finally what we've all been waiting for, the grand opening. I'm waiting for the fireworks. I'm gonna kind of squish myself around back into the shop. <laughs> There's so many people. I love it. The energy is real. Oh, hi. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. Take your time. Thank you. All right, guys. So we're going to send it back to you guys. We're going to be out live tonight for the fireworks show at 9 o'clock. Reporting and having a great time. Durango Casino Resort. Ozzy Morayton is now. Ozzy, thanks for that. The doors opened early this morning to greet all those new customers. Good day, Las Vegas. Anchor Heather Mills was there to take it all in. Eighty-three thousand square feet of casino space was enough to entice John and Susie Carrillo to come out and experience the new Durango Casino and Resort. It was nice. It was only about five minutes from the house. I was excited. I've been watching it go up. So to me, that's a dream. After a slight delay to ensure a first-class experience, Station Casinos officially opened its doors today to usher in a new experience for locals in the Southwest Valley. I live in the neighborhood, so it's good that uh, you know it's finally open. Twenty-three hundred slots, a six. 60 plus table games. Blackjack, it's, uh, we're waiting for the first hand to be dealt on this table, so it's going to be exciting. And a sports book casino execs are calling next level. So we've really raised the bar in our new race and sports book here. It is indoor, outdoor. It is playful. There's games you can play. There's a restaurant. The property is also hoping to entice foodies. I came for the food. Yes. With an array of new restaurants and an elevated food hall with local faves, including hotspots from the arts district like Vesta Coffee Roasters and You Were Me Sushi, even Santa made a stop for some grub. The one's really catching my eye is that Hawaiian street food. I got to try that. I'm a big pizza fan. So, and you like sushi? And sushi. The $780 million property on the 215 Beltway also offers free parking, something locals have come to appreciate from station casinos. Free parking is number one. At the new Durango Casino and Resort, Heather Mills, 8 News Now. Yeah, that free parking goes a long way. Now, there's a bit of something there at Durango for just about everyone. All right, so what's on the menu? Well, let's uh, check in now with Las Vegas Now anchor Rocky Theus, who's had a chance to sample quite a few of the restaurants there. Rocky? Okay, so we're going to talk food and drinks in just a second, but first I want to talk what else is on the menu. Vibes. The vibes are on the menu. This place is popping, okay? You saw Ozzy walking through, talking to people. It's so much fun in here, and we've got Keith here to tell us, you know, what can people expect for the nightlife culture at Durango? Well, people can expect an amazing experience. You don't have to go all the way to the Strip anymore. We have a gem hidden away here for locals in the desert. We have a wonderful variety of nightlife options here. You have Oasis Bar located right here in the center. It's going to be going over the DJs a couple nights a week. We also have a wonderful hidden secluded speakeasy inside of this amazing restaurant, Mio, that we call Wax Rabbit. Okay, very big Las Vegas of you. Is that how you guys are kind of, you know, also paying homage to the Las Vegas nightlife culture? Absolutely. Yeah. We want to bring a little bit of that nightlife loungy culture here off the strip, but make it more approachable. Okay. 
great music, great vibes, fun times, but you don't feel like you have to wait behind a long wait list or behind ropes and stanchions to get in. We want to make it very approachable and fun. Absolutely. And you saw a lot of people in line already to get into this beautiful restaurant. We've got a beautiful photo opportunity here and now for the grand entrance to the Wax Rabbit Speak Easy. What can people expect in here? So sorry, pardon us, everyone. So inside of here, we pay homage to Mexican culture with a tale of the 400 rabbits. Tale of the 400 rabbits was a goddess in Mexico divinely inspired 400 rabbits to make beautiful cocktails. We'll, we'll let you go first, Lance. You go ahead. You go ahead. This, the door is heavy. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Easy. The reason we call it wax is because we're going to be spinning nothing but vinyl records. Great thing about that, no EDM. You can't get EDM on vinyl. So 80s, 90s, 2000s class is going to be a really great time, great vibe. Keith, you're speaking my language. Okay, this is the vibe here. Wax Rabbit inside Miho. And coming up, we're going to take a look at the food options over at Miho. Okay? We'll be, I'll send it back to you. Oh, I'm so in on that with the vinyl. <laughs> like, I'm just making my social plans. It's got your name written yeah. all over good. it. Hey, Rocky, tell Lance good job.